going on guys and welcome to another event with your favorite DJ out there. I am DJ J Book and welcome to the Book Club channel. Today guys we're going to go off and we're going to do a setup tutorial for you. We're going to show you some of the lights and some of the equipment and stuff that we use during some of the events. Give you guys an idea of what I have to offer and stuff as a DJ and let you guys see just what I can bring to the table. If you guys have some questions or comments or anything about today's video please leave them down in the comments section. Appreciate you guys coming along and enjoy this drone montage. some of the stuff that I offer as far as lighting packages and things go for all the brides and all the parties and stuff that I offer. Now I'm not going to offer this package for every single event but for the bigger events I got a big package for them. So let's get into it. We're going to lower down the lights a little bit and we're going to put on some music and we're going to show you what we got. Here we go. All right so we're ready to show you the lights and everything. Let me show you what we got up here. We got our Epsilon 5 beam Spider X light. I actually have two of those. We have one there and one right there. And then I also have four of the DJ NO ADJ NO pocket spots. As well as you guys know that I use this in the majority of my videos here. The ADJ Ultra Bar 12. We're actually using two of those guys. So some other stuff we got here, as you know, we got the Pioneer DDJ SX2 with Serato DJ. And a couple of things with this case and everything, guys, that I want you to recognize is that you really have to manufacture these cases. You have to do it the way that you want to do it. That's easiest for you. That's easier to set up. I've kind of set it up, you know, a couple ways. Didn't know which way I really like, which way I enjoy it on here. So I've set it up a couple different ways, but I mean, the setup that you saw was probably the best way that I've come to see and stuff on here. A book note that I want to show you guys is that these ties, these wires and ties right here are probably some of the best things you can purchase. I've got them just about everywhere on just about all my wires. And you can see some there, you can see them there. That's the only way to do wire management you know because if you don't you get stuff like this hanging stuff and I would never ever go someplace to set up with wires hanging like that you know I've even got them on the plugs and stuff down here as you can see and behind the table is always going to be you know kind of junky and stuff but here I've even got it on the XLR cable because this XLR cable if you don't have it on there and this is of course just another book note but <clears throat> If you don't have it on there, you put strain on this cable and eventually this cable comes out. So if you just take a cord tie and just put it on there, and these are Velcro, so it's easy to put on, easy to take off, and just leave them right on the cord. This right here helps maintain your wire so that you keep a long life on that wire because everybody knows they hate buying XLR cables. I got a ton of XLR cables. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know about these crank stands. These things are awesome. I just got these these cranks and everything here, the bars and everything up here. And these guys, these things hold a ton of weight. You can actually also probably put a TV in this area right here, which I'm thinking about probably doing, doing a TV setup. But these cranks right here, these are awesome. They, I cannot say enough about these cranks. Um, got these off of Amazon. I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check out those. As well as I got the triangle truss up top. It's very heavy duty up there, that stuff. It's light aluminum, but it can hold a lot. So I'm gonna give you a glimpse of what that would actually look like at an actual event. So check this out.
So I tell you, you know, I just wanted to show you guys set up and everything here. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot when it comes to the setups and just how those are manufactured and stuff like that, how I'm going to do stuff. But I'm going to give you guys some other videos and things like that. Leave your comments and everything down below. Let me know what you thought. I really appreciate Doko Manor kind of giving me the opportunity to come in and set up my equipment just so I can kind of give you guys a little tutorial on, you know, what I got to offer. So, you know, I'm going to leave their website right down here for you guys. It's also going to be in the description. So you guys can make sure you check them out. If you're ever looking for a venue and you're in Blythewood, South Carolina, hey, check them out. They have an awesome facility. They just built an amphitheater out here. So, you know, you can use it for different stuff. So that's really going to do it, guys. Not a whole lot to, to display and stuff here. I just kind of wanted to throw in a video for you guys so you can see some different aspects that I offer. I'm going to go ahead and check out of here, guys. I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. If you have not subscribed to the channel, it's your first time viewing it, make sure you hit the subscribe button down at the bottom, as well as throw a like on this video if you agree with the content I have on there. Give me some suggestions and stuff down in the comment section, some stuff, maybe some setups that you guys may have, and maybe we'll do a Q&A on just some different type of setup equipment that you guys may have. As well as, after you subscribe, make sure you turn on that notification bell so you can know when all my new content and everything comes out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Book Club, for coming back again, and we'll see you again next time very, very soon. And if you don't know, now you know. Peace.